Let's look at this example. All right, when a force P is applied to the rigid arm ABC, point B displaces vertically downward a distance of 0.2 millimeters. So this point B goes down just a, just a little bit, right? 0.2 millimeters. Determine the normal strain in wire CD. All right, so we're trying to find the normal strain in wire CD. So we're trying to find epsilon of wire CD. I know that normal strain is delta L over L. Uh, so, but this is of wire CD, wire CD. All right, so let's think about uh, this wire CD and, and how much it's going to change in length. Um, this is a rigid arm. So this, you know, this arm that was right here, it's a rigid arm. It's still going to stay straight, but now it's going to be right here. All right, so do you see, I'm, I'm going to redraw this um, maybe a little bit larger out here. All right, so if this is 0.2 millimeters, we're, we're kind of looking at what is this right here. Let me redraw that a little bit better. All right, so I'm exaggerating a lot, but if this is 0.2, then what is this right here? Let's call this uh, maybe H. Um, this is a triangle. Um, I like... There's quite a few uh, times in this class where I'm going to use similar triangles. You could find this angle, um, but, but I'm going to use similar triangles. I'm going to say that this 0.2 over 400, 0.2 over 400, right, this triangle right here is the same or similar to this large triangle right here. So I'm going to say 0.2 of 400 equals H over this whole uh, 600. All right, so that would give me H is 0.3 millimeters, and that is right here. That is the change in length of uh, cable CD. All right, so epsilon is delta L over L. Uh, so it changes positive 3 millimeters. Its original length was, what is the original length of that? 300. And so just do this, 0 0.001. Uh, it's unitless, so I would accept that as unitless, or millimeters per millimeter. Uh, so that is the strain of, bar, uh, of um, cable CD. Right, we knew strains delta L over L. Sometimes you just have to be uh, creative or try to figure out how can I calculate that delta L right there, and then make sure you just divide it by the original uh, length of that um, of that cable.